Greetings, friends, and welcome to GCK Daily. We pray that this episode will meet you at the point of your desired expectation. Now, do you realize that there are many principles that govern the earth? There's seed time, and then there's harvest time. There's the winter, and then the rainy season. You know, the earth always manifests. It waits for certain things to happen, and it manifests what needs to happen in the right season. During the seasons of the heat, the sky drinks up a lot of the water and then lets it off as the rain. And the rain rewards the earth with the water and the fields are happy and they bring forth the harvest. It doesn't matter how long it's hot for. Once the rain clouds are full, they let it out rain. And that's just how God has designed it. Today, Pastor Kumi teaches us about a woman in the Bible who had to wait for so long to receive her miracle. Here's Pastor Kumi. Look at verse 27. In verse 27, when she heard, she had heard of Jesus, she came in the press behind and touched his garment. You will touch him tonight. He will touch you tonight. And that thing that made you afraid, maybe I'll never get well again. If Kanesa said, maybe I'll never recover this revelation. I'll never recover this power. I'll never recover this knowledge. I'll never recover this thing that was revealed to me. Maybe you have been thinking, I'll never get this back. The energy and the vision and the revelation and the manifestation and the performance I'll never get. Tonight, you will get. Tonight, you will receive. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. Look at verse 28. For she said, If I may but touch his clothes, I shall behold. That's your language tonight. As you touch him tonight, you will behold. Everything missing in your life, everything will come back. The joy missing in your life, everything will come back. The power, the strength missing in your life, everything will come back. Verse 29, in verse 29, and straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. Solution came for a 12 year long problem. She had been living with that problem, with that sorrow, with that suffering, with that sickness, 12 years. No single day of relief. But the moment that Christ came into her life and the moment she taught Jesus final solution came to you for you for your baby for your wife for your children for your husband and that challenge that had knocked you down and now it's like Am I going to die in this situation? You will not die in that situation. It says, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. Look at verse 34. In verse 34, it says, and he said unto her daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. And behold, of thy plague, fear went away. Faith came in. For Nebuchadnezzar, fear had not ruled his life. A person who was an emperor of the whole world at that time, the number one in the world at that time, fear, fright, ruined his life. Nothing to be joyful about. Nothing to be happy about. He became so frightened, so fearful that he wanted to kill everybody that he had been trusting, depending on. But now, as Daniel came and said, and Daniel said, 
Don't bother about that. Let's say God in heaven, that God in heaven will solve your problem and the problem was solved. And I come to you tonight to declare to you, there is a God in heaven. It will solve your problem. It will recover the loss. And it will bring back everything that made you happy, joyful in your life. Tonight, the night of revelation, restoration in your life, in Jesus' name. Understand, no man can do this. But God in heaven will do it for you. Hello, friends. This is Paul Balash, and you're watching GCK Daily with Dr. Kumuyi. As we reflect on today, I want you to take a couple of things home with you. Number one, in the time of heat, waiting for the rain may be uncomfortable. It may cause distress. Our faith and resilience is tested, and we sometimes lose steam. But God is always mindful of our situations. Secondly, the thing about this woman in the Bible was that she was meeting Jesus for the first time. But for us believers, he is with us in the lowest valleys and in the highest of mountains. He's always with us. And thirdly, God sees it all. He has a book of remembrance and he has days of visitations. Just the same way he has appointed the time of the harvest, joy surely comes in the morning. You want to give your life to Christ, to be your Savior, and to be your Lord tonight. Where, where are you? Raise up your hand there and come out of the authority of the kingdom of darkness. Raise up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. You, st you are raising up your hand. You can stand up now. Just stand up. Stand up. Stand up for Jesus like a soldier of the cross. Like you now understand he is my savior. He is my Lord. Like you understand that he is the power that destroys every other power on earth against your life. And he forgives you and he saves you, and he turns your life around. Raise up that hand and stand up and say, Lord, here I am. I come so that I will not be under the rule of the kingdom of darkness, kingdom of disease, kingdom of depravity, kingdom of defilement, and kingdom of demons, or kingdom of death. Now, I come in connection with Christ. I accept him as my savior. I accept him as my Lord. Raise up the hand and stand up and say, Lord, I come out of all those kingdoms. I come into the kingdom of Christ. He's my savior and Lord right now. Keep on standing as I pray with you. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of the call because of the connection and because of the conversion that we have now lord i pray forgive everyone responding now forgive them their sins in jesus name take the punishment of sin away from them. Take the pollution of sin away from them. Break the power of sin out of their lives in Jesus' name. Grant them your salvation, your forgiveness, your freedom, your redemption right now. I pray, Lord, you take their portion, take their name, out of the kingdom of darkness, defilement, and bring them into the kingdom of your dear son. Let the joy of salvation come up in every heart standing right now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Christ, the stone that came out of that mountain without hands, as 
brought every kingdom down. Darkness gone. Disease gone. Demons paralyzed. Premature death canceled. Yours is now to reap the benefit. And Christ will deliver you from every work of darkness and work of the devil in your life. Christ will reign in health, in joy, in deliverance, in dominion in your life tonight. Raise up your hand. You need a miracle and lay your hand where you have the problem. No problem should abide and remain in your body, in your heart, in your home after the final amen tonight. And after the final amen, you check up yourself. A miracle already will be there. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the revelation that had been lost, but now you have recovered, you have revealed your secret unto us. You have revealed the secret that sickness canceled, disease canceled, demonic power canceled, premature death canceled, and you have brought us up from the dungeon and prison of captivity and you have raised us up to sit in heavenly places with Christ, the Christ of all power. I pray the power of Christ will manifest in every life right now in Jesus' name. All the power of demons, evil spirits broken away from your life now. Disease Cancel right now in Jesus' name. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone. Dominion for everyone. Lord, I pray any sickness from the top of the head to the tip of the toe. Take everything out right now in Jesus' name. Madness, insanity. You are crushed and cancelled. Yeah. Swelling, goiter, tumor, fibroid, hernia, elephantiasis, hunchback, be removed now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Blindness, be my sight. The Lord touch you now, heal you now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Deafness, dumbness, you are healed now in Jesus' name. That is your blood dry up right now in Jesus' name. Pal, be healed in Jesus' name. All that oppression in the night, evil powers pressing you down, tormenting your life, double crossing your way, I command that evil power, evil spirit, evil personality, come out in Jesus' name. And I pray for those who have stepped on poison, and since that time, the heat from the uh, bottom of your feet, everything is just, uh, you know, tormenting your life, you are delivered in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have a kidney problem and they have lungs problem and they have breathing problem. I pray, touch them right now. Heal them in Jesus' name. Every kind of sickness, every form of infirmity be taken out of your life right now. And that Christ, the cornerstone of our salvation, of our healing, of our deliverance, of our dominion, strike every evil thing out of your life right now in Jesus' name. You're free. You are healed. You are delivered. Manifestation in your life right now. Performance in your life right now. Demonstration of divine power in your life now. In Jesus' name. It is done. It is confirmed. 
you are healed. You are delivered. Thank you, Lord, for the confirmation. In Jesus' name I pray. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see you. I want to see you. Let's sing that again. Open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart, because I want to see you. Yes, I want to see you. We want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Coley. We are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. We'd love for you to join us at our next Global Crusade. Thank you.